Hello everyone, it's Cindy here, and I am going to show you a fast and easy card using the Positive Thoughts uh, stamp set. So, let me make sure that I have my comments on, and go ahead and tell me hello uh, when uh, you check in, and I will try to respond to everybody. Uh, the Positive stamp or the positive thought stamp set it comes with eight stamps and they're red rubber all right and today I'm going to use this one here okay and I'm gonna put that on my block here real fast and I'm also going to use this flower one out of it um, this stamp set number here let me uh, get in here and leave a comment for the actual place where you can order that. Um, I also have a March Hostess code this month. Here, let me get that in there. So if you want to be included in special offers this month, my Hostess code for March is QWUV93ZV, and you can join in and, and get a few little extra thingies here. So I'm going to, I have my stamps mounted up and then right now I have my cardstock pre-cut here all right and my cardstock that I'm using is a petal pink for my card base all right so it's just your standard five and a half by eight and a half card base hi Jaina how are you today and I'm going to use my bone folder. I'm doing a really simple card today, Jaina. I'm trying to get everything. And this is the suede color. All right. And I'm going to layer it. Well, actually, I'm not going to layer it. All right. So this is your regular card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half. This layer here of the suede um, is four by five and a quarter. I have another layer here of the petal pink, which is three and three fourths by five. And then I have a whisper white here. Okay, and that is uh, three, uh, three and a half, I believe. Hold on, let me check. Yeah, three and a half by four and three quarters. And that's what I'm actually gonna be stamping on today. Hi Sylvia, how are you doing today? So what I'm gonna start with is I am going to be starting with these leaves here, all right? And they really lend themselves to be stamped in muted colors, in my opinion. So I have my crumb cake, all right? So I'm going to ink up and my crumb cake is fairly new, so it's going to be darker than it might be if I had um, had it for a while. And I'm going to stamp it here oh, up a little ways on my Whisper White. Okay, and you see it's a little darker than yours might be if you haven't re-inked your ink pad lately. All right, and then I'm going to rotate my stamp here, and I'm going to cluster it down here just like that and what I'm liking about this combination is you can use this card for almost any occasion all right so I kind of did a triangle here all right and then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take my petal pink here and I'm going to be using the flower image here all right and my petal pink is is new too. All my ink pads are new, so it's kind of nice because I get these really nice colors, all right? And then I'm going to stamp three of these petal pink flowers on there, all right? And I'm going to rotate that just like that. Then I'm going to stamp one here and rotate it again, just a little off-centered, okay? and then one here, and rotate it again a little off-centered. All right, so like I said, it was fast and easy stamping. Then 
I'm going to use the sentiment, um, let's see, which one do we want to use? Friends like you mean more every year. Right. Uh, maybe that one. Or the hugs, prayers, and loves and love right here. I think I want that one, the hugs, prayers, and love. So I'm going to grab a block. All right. And I'm going to center that up right there. And I'm going to use my crumb cake one again. And I hope I get it straight on there. Oh yeah. All right, so there's my crumb cake. All right, and now all I have to do is layer it on here, all right? And like I said, it was a fast and easy one. You can, here, let me layer that on there. Use my tape runner here. And I'm not going to do any dimensionals on it. I'm just, I'm just going to layer it flat on flat. And it's one of those fast and quick cards that you can do. And you can change the sentiment out. So you could actually make um, a gift set for someone using it. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Wink Stella. All right. I haven't used this all week since like Friday. So I'm trying to, okay, there we go. And I'm going to glitter up. I like the Wink Stella. If you're used to using glitter, and it going everywhere and being on everything, the Wink Stella will be your bestest friend if you don't like being a messy glitter person. All right, because it's liquid and it sticks. Thank you, Jaina. It sticks right to the paper. No residue to follow you around. So that's my fast and easy card for today. It has layers so it looks fancy and is just using three colors of cardstock and two colors of ink. And then we have the Wink Estella. I put the, the link to the stamp set in the comments. And then if you'd like to order from me and you use the hostess code here, you'll be included in some special... Uh, products and stuff that I give out during the month. I also want to remind everybody that the paper pumpkin kit for March, um, you have to order it by March 11th, but there's actually two stamp sets in this month's one. Um, and I have, if you're a paper pumpkin subscriber, I have a PDF that you will get for extra ideas. All right. So um, use the hostess code, and that's one of those goodies that you get for using the hostess code. And then I'll see you again on Thursday, all right? Have a good week. Bye.